All right, Kevin, Darren, we're gonna look at the next fundamental, which is launch angle. And it's really looking at how the dynamic loft is what really dictates what the launch angle is gonna be. So you've got the dynamic loft and the attack angle, but the ball's always gonna launch a lot closer to what the dynamic loft is. So let's look and talk about what you do, maybe different course conditions or weather conditions to hit a high shot, hit a low shot, and what you're doing to affect the dynamic loft, which is going to dictate that launch angle. All right, Kevin, let's go ahead and start out with a high shot and let's you know, hear you talk about what you're trying to do in order to set up for that shot. Sure. Let's say we have a downwind par five and uh, we got bunkers out there at 280, 290 or something. I really want to launch one pretty high and, and really get it up in the air and, and get it moving. So the ball's teed up a little bit higher. I'll move it a uh, hair up in my stance. Really feel my tilt behind it. Now just have a nice smooth transition. All right, Kevin, come over and take a look at that one. Launched pretty high, so did what we were trying to do. We got a launch angle of 12 degrees, got a dynamic loft of 13.4, and a positive attack angle of 3.2. But you know, as we were talking about in the beginning, the launch angle is much closer to what that dynamic loft is. So Darren, from your perspective, what are you looking at from Kevin's swing when he's doing the right things to create those types of numbers? I think, I think the important thing is, is that if you've got somewhat of a regular pattern that he's trying to produce and it's, um, it's making the numbers correct um, the majority of the time, a simplicity approach is, is, is much greater for us from a consistency point of view. So the most important thing that Kevin said there were the two elements of the setup, which is teeing it up higher and putting it a lot further forward in his stance. And that's kind of shown in the attack angle there. The club's gone past the point of zero and then is on the way up. And as soon as that happens, the attack angle changes to a much um, uh, more of an upward hit. And then obviously the dynamic loft increases because the club's on the way up. Kevin produced some good numbers there. 13.4 dynamic loft, 12 degree launch angle. Is there anything that you're looking for that he may get in trouble if he's trying to create these numbers where he does certain things in his swings that he may get those numbers, but it may not be a good result? He can definitely get those numbers by doing it the wrong way, in my opinion. We've got a good attack angle there of 3.2 degrees on the up, but he's done that just by making sure the ball's in the right place in the tee height, rather than keeping the ball where it was before and then trying to create that number mid-swing by changing his form when he swings. We don't want that, it's too inconsistent. Okay, so we saw on that one, you launched it higher, and you did that by increasing the dynamic loft. So now let's look at a different scenario where you're trying to keep the ball down a little bit. Uh, a lot of people out there think that to keep the ball down, you're trying to hit down on it. But we know now that it's the dynamic loft that's really controlling that launch angle. So you know, what would be a scenario that you would be trying to flight the ball a little bit lower, and how would you do it? Sure, well, I mean, obviously into a good wind, um, in firm conditions, you know, we're in Texas, the Colonial or something, you got to hit a little P out there that stays nice and low. Um, we're going to do the opposite of what we did to hit the ball high, and that's choke up, tee the ball down, and actually move it back in our stance. So now there's some things that will, re that will happen as a result of simply those setups, but taking care of those three things on their own will bring the ball flight down quite drastically. So let me show you how I hit one. First thing we'll do is tee the ball down just a touch. Also, I'm gonna play it back in my stance about a ball and I'm gonna choke up about an inch on the grip. Now from this position, I already have all the factors I need to hit pretty low golf shot. Try to make the same pattern swing as I was on the high one. All right, Kevin, I mean, that was a great one. We did exactly what you were trying to do. Let's take a look at those numbers now. So if we look at that one, the dynamic loft was 9.5 which was significantly less than the 13.4 on the last shot. So we went down to 9.5, the launch angle is at 8.1. Now we did get a little steeper on the attack angle, and I'll let you all describe why that happened. But again, the main thing here we're looking at is the launch angle is a lot closer to the dynamic loft than it is the attack angle. So Darren, if you could speak to, you know, his attack angle did get a little bit steeper. Uh, how did that and the other numbers change with what he was trying to do? Well, if you consider where the ball position should be, say for a zero attack angle, which would be somewhat optimum, we would have that just inside the left heel. If he's moved that a ball width further forward, the club then is moving up to a plus three attack angle because it's gone past the point of the bottom of the arc. 
and all things being equal, if we move that in the other direction, it's going to be 3.6 degrees on the down before it gets to zero. So it's just really the ball position that's changing that attack angle. Okay, so I guess that's you know what you have been talking about is that you're trying to feel the same pattern. So it's not that the swing's changing, it's just the ball positions that's changing that's causing those numbers to yeah. change. Yeah, I think we're getting to a point here where Kevin's trying to create swing shots, uh, sorry, um, trajectory shots and, and right to left and left to right shots just from his setup, Ryan, rather than trying to do that in his, as he's swinging. Okay, well that was pretty good. I mean, again, we've seen that the launch angle is going to be much closer to the dynamic loft. Dynamic loft dictates the launch angle by about 80% relative to what the attack angle is. So that's how we get our launch angle.